What's going on there, guys? Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something I've been pretty excited for. Uh, I know some people are kind of uh, yay or nay on it, but I am pretty excited for it. Um, I've always been a big Transformers fan, but X-Men has always been like my second love. Um, I don't really collect a whole lot of like the six-inch Marvel Legends stuff, but I made sure I got that 90s X-Men, the animated series, uh, X-Men cast. I didn't get the... Uh, I didn't get the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants or any of the other stuff. I think I actually I got the cable and the kind of like 90s Deadpool. But other than that, like that's, you know, that's kind of been my thing. And whenever I saw this uh, tease and it went up for pre-order way back when, um, I, I, I was super excited for it because like this just screams that 90s X-Men. Um, it even comes with kind of that like Jim Lee era uh, costume for like Wolverine and Sabretooth and it just looks like you know the the Toy Biz X-Men uh, toys that I you know had growing up. I even had the X-Jet Blackbird whatever you want to call it um toy the thing that like broke apart into three different things as a kid. So uh anyways, it's just really cool to to see this as the next Transformers crossover. I have historically not liked the Transformers crossovers. Uh, but this one I feel makes the most sense being like, you know, something comic book cartoon related opposed to, you know, something a little more quote unquote real world, like the DeLorean from back to the future, or, you know, even the Ecto one or the Top Gun thing. I just didn't, none, none of that stuff does anything for me. Like it's, it's not even background noise when I need background noise. Like I don't care about eighties movie franchises, but nineties X-Men. Now you have my attention. So, uh, real quick, uh, this is a jet, obviously. Uh, what I think is really cool is you can store these energy effects uh, below here. They just utilize these little uh, pegs in here, which is just like, I don't think necessarily meant to be like peg holes, uh, so to speak. But it uh, like it just u utilizes the, the space there like for the molding, uh, which, is, which is really cool. Uh, the packaging, I left the little bitty Wolverine and Sabretooth uh, in there because honestly, that's just little tiny, uh, tiny things just begging to get lost. So there they are in there. Some pretty neat little details on them. And like there's even this little like energy effects piece that you could like clip around them. Uh, ultimately, like it's just it's not for me. Um, you know, if, if it's for you, then that's that's all well and good. But yeah, I love this box, man. It's a really cool box. But let's get it out of the way. And talk about uh, the figure. So, real quick, I got some gripes about it. Um, a lot of it, I think, is just like tooling issues, like or like mold sprue issues, I should say. Because uh, you can see where they uh, clipped these off of the sprues right there and right there, or it could just be where I pried them apart, maybe. But that's kind of problematic. But I want to say, like, I didn't look at it too too closely whenever I took it out of the box. But like, that's a bit of an issue. Um, another issue is these, uh, which that one's less so. This one's more, uh, floppy than this one. This one actually kind of holds uh, how it needs to. I may, because that comes off, I don't know, I may try to put something there to, because, like, that looks like the little tab that it would clip onto. There's not much of one here on the front. I don't know, I may, uh put some floor polish or nail polish or something there to kind of stiffen that up. But yeah, it just sort of, and like, it doesn't really lock in either for uh, robot mode. It'll hold up just like that. You know, maybe I'm putting it in a robot mode wrong, but uh, there's that. Otherwise it's just a straight up like repaint, slight remold. Uh, I would assume of the uh, studio series Jetfire from Bayformers, which cool. Like, and, and what's even better is it doesn't like, look like crotchety old grandpa robot jet fire from uh the studio series line so like i don't know i thought it was just a great use i'm like there you go see it's just that's that's a bit of a bummer but i mean eh, it's it's easily fixed it doesn't bother me too much i mean it's leader class priced i want to say it was like 70 bucks or something like that but so that that does kind of like i don't know bum you out a little bit but you know hey it is what it is. You get some more of that translucent sort of pink there uh, on the cockpit. So that is uh, cool and nice. And of course, you get the X-Men logos on the wings as they should. And it's just uh, crazy awesome X-Men colors. So like 
that as it is, pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a big three and three quarter inch uh, guy, and I just like dropped the one figure that I was going to compare it with. Uh, so obviously, like this isn't three and three quarter inch uh, scale, so it's not going to look that great with your three and three quarter inch. You can only assume what six inch would look like. Uh, I do not have them as accessible, but uh, but yeah, I think robot mode like it, it's a, it's a little more forgiving, especially with like three and three quarter inch figures. Like I have the uh, Revolutionary set, and I thought that you know that Jetfire looked good with some of the three and three quarter inch guys, but. Anyways, this is it more or less for jet mode. Doesn't really do anything extra special, but you get the accessory storage uh, for the you know the kind of like beam effects. I think that's great, uh, and you know it's like obviously you can kind of see that part of it there, but I don't. Yeah, and you can see a little bit of it right there, but otherwise it is a okay. Now let's go ahead and get this thing transformed, which can be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure. Like, this is my first time with the mold. I'm sure it, it isn't too much different from the Studio Series Jetfire. So, like, you can check those reviews out that do the transformations on those. Um, I'm guessing the legs are going to be a little bit different, but uh, shouldn't be too terribly bad, right? But anyways, let's, uh, let's get into robot mode, and we will take a look at it from there. All right, so now we have it all transformed into robot mode, and I dig it. Like, some people, it's not for them. I totally respect that. You're wrong, but I respect it. Uh, and yeah, man, like, I don't know, like, this is just so cool. Like, it's just, you know, it's it's not that movie jet fire aesthetic, which I really appreciate. Although, like, you can definitely tell where there are some of those, like, uh, engineering pieces, like, especially in the waist. Uh, you know, it's got, like, the kind of rocking uh, side to side and, you know, forward. But you can't really utilize a whole lot of that because of the new chest piece. And, like, I dig it. Like, they took... Again, crotchety, hunched over, you know, Grandpa Transformer mold and, like, made something that looked a little more hip and spry, if I may. Uh, so, like, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let me uh, get, like, a little bit closer. I did want it all kind of in the one shot there. But, uh, all right. So, this is the same uh, floppy bit here uh like there's it's supposed to and like you can just feel it ever so slightly kind of grab right there this one's fine like this one locks in as it's supposed to so i may need to again put something uh, on one of these like little notch areas like you can see where it's supposed to lock in but it just it just doesn't so you know again kind of a bummer um you know uh yeah it looks like it's definitely on those little Little indention pieces, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, like, that's probably going to flop around for the remainder of the video, and it's okay for right now. But, yeah, so here's the, like, the two leg joints that I guess, like, you know, uh, Grandpa um, Jetfire would have utilized. I guess he would have utilized this, like, extra hinge in here, too, for this knee pad. Uh, this one doesn't, so. Or at least... Not that I recall seeing in the instructions that I kind of glossed over, but, you know, that's whatever. It's That's on me, if it is, I guess. Uh, your mileage may vary. Just leave it at that. Something that I thought was pretty cool was that these effects pieces, they have these little holes on, like, the insides of them, and there's these little pegs here on the landing gear. So if you don't want, like, you know, the claws and the sword plugged in uh, here on the hands, which, again, neat little touch. I like that. Uh, you can just store them here. Like, it's it's a little silly, but uh, you guys know I'm a sucker for weapon storage. Beast Wars fan. Beast Wars fans love our weapon storage. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, I saw some reports where, like, some people were saying, like, theirs was floppy and couldn't stand. Again, this is about as floppy as it gets on mine. And then, it, like, you know, this waist is also, but again, I think that's just from that uh, jet fire tooling. Some people said the chest plate didn't lock in. Mine locks in fine. I don't have any issue with it. And I think some people had a problem with these interior bits. Now, I the first time I transformed it, I kind of left them uh, sort of out, if I can get it, uh, like this. And then, like, yeah, so as I was moving it, it was a problem. But, like, there, you can see there's these, like, little lips kind of right in here. And if you just sort of angle it over that part... And then back, like, in. And then let's uh, 
Let's close the chest up. Pull the. I'm messing all this stuff up. Uh, come on now. There we go. All right, tab that. Uh, yeah. So like, it'll it'll lock. Uh, those pieces in, you know, like, which, like, as it should, I don't know if that's just an issue, like, some folks were maybe just, like, not doing, neglecting to see, whatever, uh, but yeah, like, mine locks in, holds together fine, I'm able to pose it without, uh, the, you know, chest and the arms and all that kind of going all over the place, uh, so that's cool, uh, one thing I could have lived without, just because, like, I don't like Cyclops, I said it, there, I said it, uh, he does have the Cyclops visor, but, you know, whatever, it's it's neat. I understand why they like included it. Cyclops is fairly iconic when it comes to the X Men, so like I get it. But I love like the X on the chest. It's the whole like it's just that Jim Lee era like X Men uniform, man. And I really do like it. I also like you know if you want to, you can angle these down. You can do whatever you want with these. I just had them up for the sake of like that's how the instructions said it. But I will probably angle them down like that. Just to give them, uh, you know, a little bit of like a, a unique look or whatever. He stands just fine. I uh, think that was like another issue. Someone was saying that uh, standing was an issue. These can kind of come unpegged somewhat easily, but like it's not, it's not like all the time. Like they they clip in fairly well. The sides of these do, but just something to kind of like look out for, I guess. If that's you know, if that's gonna like bother you or, or, or whatever. So like there is that. Uh, also the instructions do say that you can uh, kind of like fold these flat and set the little guys on top of them. Uh, again, like I didn't get this for the little guys. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's me. But anyways, like that's, that's more or less it. You get like some decent articulation with this dude. Uh, he looks cool. I like, again, the whole putting the accessories like, in here, doing the whole, like, energy effects of, like, clearly Wolverine's claws, right? And clearly Psylocke's sword. You know, at least that's what I'm going to assume it is. I'm going to assume it's Psylocke's sword. Just get him, uh, get him some playing cards and a trench coat, man. Let's get the, let's get the Gambit reference in there. But, so, there he is. Let's do, let's do a couple of comparisons. I'm going to just knock them out real fast, I guess. Uh, make Toys Swerve. Yay. Uh, Mega Class Transmetal Optimus Primal. Because, sure, it was, it was sitting really close to me, that's why. And here we have the thumbnail shot, as I'm going to call it. Uh, this is him with the three and three quarter inch X-Men figures that I do have, all except for... Uh, Archangel, I think. I think Archangel, uh, one of my other Wolverines. Uh, oh, forgot to get Namor. Uh, Namor, it's just, it's fine. But like, you know, here we go. Uh, this, this is like the display that, that I think I have in mind, uh, especially with like Cable up top. Like, I feel like this, this is a dude that Cable would run around with, you know, or, or like maybe tries to keep Cable in line, like something, right? Uh, so pretty cool. I love the way this looks, you know, again, I, I feel like your kind of traditional classics, generations, etc. scale, uh, really, uh, works well with the three and three quarter inch stuff. It's not perfect. Uh, but like this is, in my opinion, uh, an incredible display. You can't see Gambit back there. Gambit's back there. I had to, uh, custom paint those cards. I also had to add articulation, like please Hasbro bring back, uh, Marvel three and three quarter inch figures, um, just please like you know some of these have not held up well uh the the test of time with engineering and comparing to other hasbro three and three quarter inch like the newer star wars uh, vintage collection stuff and even uh some stuff from like boss fight and chicken fried toys like it's just some of us just not holding up super well cable's great uh, but i need a storm i need a jubilee i need a rogue and i need a gambit um and another gene gray would would be would be nice. Something and something without those universals on Wolverine. Oh, and there goes Archangel. Or not Archangel, Angel. Uh, which is to be expected. Uh, this era of toys was pretty much useless without the stands. I'm surprised they have all been standing for as long as they have. But anyways, like this is uh this is the shot that I that, that I like. This is what I had in mind whenever I pre-ordered this. 
All right, it was bothering me. I had to fix Angel. But yeah, so this is cool, man. Like, I definitely recommend it. If you just kind of like have the money and you like fun stuff, uh, you know, get it. I, I hope they do like some kind of crossover comic uh, for sure. Uh, I'd really be looking forward to that, uh, f- you know, from Marvel, IDW, either or both joint collab, whatever. It might not happen. Like, I don't think we got a Top Gun like comic crossover or anything like that. Uh, I know we got the Ghostbusters thing and the Back to the Future thing. And, and that's all cool and, and whatever for those. And like there was Terminator, but I don't think there was like any Terminator product to go like with this. Uh, but anyways, like that's, that's kind of like my hopes, uh, for this. Like I do, I would love a, a Transformers X-Men crossover comic. So maybe, hopefully, you know, we'll see, but, uh, yeah, definitely recommend picking it up. It's, uh, it's fun. I've heard some, again, I've heard some reports, uh, where people have gotten some with some crummy QC and mine isn't absent of, you know, bad QC, but it's, it's not as bad as some of the other reports that I've been hearing. And I think it's something that I may be able to fix fairly easily. So with that being said, uh, please leave any questions or comments in the comment box. I enjoy reading them and responding uh, and hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys later.